Good morning students, myself Sadi Alesia, Assistant Professor, Department of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, RMD Engineering College. Today we are going to discuss what are the different types of intelligent agents in AI environment. So we have four basic types in order of increasing generality, but in general we are going to classify it as five different types of intelligent agents. So let us discuss what are the basic types are for by combining advantages of all these four basic agents we are going to introduce a new agent called learning agent. So what are the five types of uh, intelligent agents here is simple reflex agents. So reflex agents with state or model. So we are ca we can also call it as modal based reflex agents and third category is goal based reflex goal based agents and fourth one is utility based agents and third one is learning agent let us discuss what are in which way these four dif five different types of intelligent agents works in the real time environment in the previous sessions we discussed that what are the two important terminologies uh, we should be aware in the AI environment. So, I will show to you guys. First, we discuss that simple reflex agent. So, I am why I am covering that simple reflex agents with this diagram is agent. So, when you come to your mind, what is agent? Here, agent is a combination of both sensors and actuators. What sensors will do it can know what it can know what is the environment what's environment it's going to get uh, information from the environment it prospects the information from the environment what actuators will do it performs the actions to the environment so true sensor it knows just knows about what the environment is what's the world here you can imagine that environment is world now what's the environment at present and based on that environment at present situation it is going to perform the actions to the environment to the actuators by using some conditional action rules this is we call it as simple reflex agent it does not have if you observe here this is most important terminology it just knows what's the environment at present now not discussing about the how the environment in previous we are not going to discuss the past history of an environment at present history of environment we are going to see what's the environment now and based on the environment at present situation we are going to perform the actions based on conditional action rules this one we are call it as simple reflex actions so next come to modal based reflex actions so now I am going to some advanced level so why I covered simple based reflex actions in this previous slide means I just want to know in simple mode simplex model what is the meaning of agent it's a combination of both actuators and sensors at present what's the environment it is going to check after checking the environment at present situation it is going to perform the actions in the to the environment in which type of agents simplex based reflex agents now we can move to the next level next di different types of intelligent agent modal based reflex agent so here if you observe that modal based reflex agent here also same under environment what are the two important sub components we have one is sensor another one is actuators so true sensors it is perceiving the input from the environment through actuators it is going to perform the actions to the environment this thing okay so then what is the difference between you have one question rise in your mind then what is the difference between simple reflex agent and modal based reflex agent so a simple reflex agent means if you are at present What's the word like now? It's also considering the present scenario. 
and also i value that what is the actions performed by in the environment in previous so it's having some past knowledge of the environment and also the present knowledge of the environment to perform the actions to the environment if you want to perform actions to the environment you apply some conditional action rules but what is the difference between simplex based agents and modal based agents here is in simplex based agents we just know what's the environment now but we are not going to understand what's the actions performed in the environment previously so if you are considering past history and you are doing observing the environment at present and then performing the actions to the environment that type of agent we are called it as modal based reflex agent now goal based reflex agent so goal based reflex agent is also now observing the history past history of the environment present history of the environment and also what type of actions i have to do to reach my goal also will be produced by using which type of agent goal based agents for example i know the state and environment what is the present environment what is the past environment and i know what type of actions i have to perform to the environment to reach my goal na that type of agents we are call it as goal based agent so if you want to know what is the difference between modal based agents and goal based agents here not applying condition action rules to the actuators we are also applying the goals to the actuators to perform perfect actions to the environment so that is the difference between modal based agents and the goal based agents so all scenarios we have environment and we have agent in that agent what are the two sub components sensors and actuators in the simplex we only know the present environment in the modal based we know the present environment and past environment but in goal based instead of con concentrating on both past and present on uh, through of sensors we also concentrate on actuator goals so that is the difference between modal based agents and goal based agents comes to the utility based agents so i will explain with the diagram then it's clear for you guys utility so up to now through sensors i am perceiving the inputs from the environment after perceiving the input from the environment how after af af processing the input i am going to perform the actions to the environment how much happy for me after performing the action so that type of agents we are call it as utility based agents so if you observed here how happy i will be in such a state so if you are going to see that example now atletics functions is a real number that describes associate degree happiness goodness success for example if i drive a car if i drive a car uh, the customers appreciated or otherwise more number of drive uh, drives i got based on my top score means some utility of ha happiness will come so this is thinking of some type of happiness after performing actions to the environment that type of agents we are call it as utility based agents and come to the last agent learning agent here critics critics is nothing but feedback uh, for example i will tell to you guys Mm, tell one topic prepare one topic and take seminar in the class i didn't teach you anything regarding to that topic to you guys what you will do, what you will do you refer some test books or you can study it by your own and you learn by itself and delivered in in front of me but i give some comments to you both it is in a positive way or negative way so what you have to do when you are going i am giving other chance to you guys to perfect first time if you are going to present i am giving some penalty and some giving negative feedback critics to you guys mean again you are going to do that operation practicing more and more and if you are presenting in front of class uh, when compared to the previous time this time the actions will be performed in a good way 
this type of agents we are call it as learning agents after critics after feedback from the human experts after feedbacks from the respective alternative systems it is going to change their performance and applying the knowledge to perform the actions in a better way after critics so if i am getting feedback from others if you are weak in this particular thing na i can able to know i am weak in this particular na i have to concentrate more and i have to improve my performance in the particular area so indirectly we can also call it as a self learning agent so uh, in mission learning this self learning agent we called it as reinforcement learning so why i skip that things means the entire things will teach us that thing only reinforcement learning i am learning something by performing actions continuously i am performing i am learning and after that i am performing the action if i get a negative feedback again i will learn again i perform the actions again if i am getting some negative feedback again i will work and i will perform action up to which time we are going to perform the action still you get the positive feedback from the experts this type of learning we call this reinforcement learning will need which type of agents means uh, learning agents so self learning agents will be needed in different in this type of mission learning so that's all students for the today sessions i summarize that we have different types of agents so simple reflex agent is concentrate only on the present state of the sensor reflex agents is based on the present state and past state of the environment and goal based is specifying which after performing the action you are going to reach your destination or not utility will gives after performing the action how much how level of happiness you are going to get and learning agents based on feedbacks based on critic it is going to improve the knowledge and performing the actions in a better way we call it as learning agents that's all for the today's sessions uh, thank you students for listening in the next session we will meet with the new concept